Hi, it's me, Cat. Welcome to another Cat at, at Me Learns Synthesis with Centorial. In case for some reason you are just stumbling upon this, the whole idea is that we use this program called Centorial to learn uh, stuff about synthesis, uh, making sounds with synthesizers. We have made it through the first four chapters and we're moving on to brightness, press, and release. Press and release, baby. Here we go. Let's start the lesson. Filter envelope. True. Filter envelope. This is how we make sounds sound like Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah. You can hear that it's coming from a lower spot. Submit. Excuse me. Oh, uh, it was all the way down. Well, friends, we can't win them all. Pretty close, though. Let's go next. So you have to hear where it's coming from and where it's going to. Yeah, cat. Okay, so this one gets a little bit brighter. So one of the things you can listen for here is, so you can hear what it sounds like when it's fully open now. And if you go here, you can hear that it gets fully open when the envelope is doing its thing. So we need to make sure that this ends up getting fully open with the envelope. And I believe that's it. You f***ing piece of shit. Well, well, you're so close. It's really hard sometimes being a cat. So this one does not fully open. I think that's it. Yeah! Cat! Cat, 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 cat. Next. Yeah, I think that's it. Shall we submit? I say, hey, I asked you a question. Should we submit to cat? Yeah. yeah! Submit to cat. Next. That sounds right. It's time to submit. Yeah! yeah! Cat, 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 cat. Finish. Yeah! yeah! Cheer for cat. Nice lesson. Attack. Filter envelope attack. Filter envelope As attack. As we learned in the previous lesson, mm -hmm. the filter envelope attack gradually brightens our sound. So we're going to have to do the exact same thing that we just did but we're going to actually have to adjust the attack ourselves. Before it was just the cutoff frequency and the uh, envelope amount, but now, now friends, we have to control the envelope attack ourselves. Let's do it. So that's a pretty long attack. Not that long. Also, I can hear that the cutoff frequency starts a little higher than ours. That's it. Yeah! Trust. Trust your instincts like a cat. Trust your uh, your instincts. Next. <laughs> this is the sound of cat. Cat, 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 cat. 
cat, 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 cat. Legitimately good. So there's a little bit of attack. That's what gives it that sort of duck sound and uh, a little bit of envelope. But theirs gets brighter. So we have two choices. We can turn this up. I think what's going on here is there's more envelope though. Submit to cat. Oh, we were so close. It was down just a tiny, tiny bit. Pretty damn close though. Honestly, that's a, that's a W for the cat. No L's here. Okay, really long and the envelope almost, uh, it probably opens up the filter all the way. So let's try this out. Not that long, a little longer. That sounds right. Submit to cat. Oh, wait, really? Oh, okay. Cat still wins. Faster attack or more envelope. We're too low on our initial cutoff. And now we need to turn down our attack. So what we're doing here is uh, we are listening for the start and end, basically. Like there is a, uh, a start point for the cutoff frequency and then there's an end point. And then it's about the time that it takes to get between those points. I hope that makes sense to you. Submit. So close. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Submit. So you know what? You gotta go with your gut. If you don't, it's gonna take freaking forever. Like it just you just gotta submit. Oh no. <laughs> I guess don't don't just submit. Wow. We were really off on that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're doing our best. The best you can is good enough. So because the sound basically starts from nothing, we know that our cutoff is way far down. Farther down, but theirs gets much brighter. So let's turn this up. Too much. That sounds right. I'm, I'm very confident about this one. Let's go. Oh. Back in the saddle. Cat's riding. Cat's riding that horse. Two scores, two stars. Not the best, not the best, but honestly, like, it's not, it's not easy. Please excuse Cat for any shortcomings. Cat's doing the best they can. Filter envelope release. I'm not gonna let this person talk. It's my job to talk. I'm Cat. The idea here is that uh, release is the other direction. So attack is the onset of our filter. And really, oh no. They have an amp envelope release too. Cat didn't ask for this. This is supposed to be, you're supposed to make this easy for Cat. Anyways, let's start. Okay, so we can hear that our filter is all the way open to start. Oh, good. Amp envelope is, is closed off. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Faster. And it goes much farther down. So we need to turn up our cutoff and turn down our uh, envelope. Wait, no, other way around. Turn down our cutoff and turn up our envelope. <laughs> Cat. Their release is longer. And 
now, so it goes down. So let's turn down our cutoff some more and turn our envelope up. That sounds pretty right. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. So long release. Let's turn this down. Turn this up. Okay. Let's let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. One. God damn it! Look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If we're one off, if we're one little click off on our envelope and filter, cat still wins. That's the new thing. That's the new thing. Just, just, just ignore it. Cat still wins. Okay. Okay, so we can hear that the cutoff frequency goes much farther down with their release. So we need to fix that. So if you hear the endpoint here go farther down, like get less bright, then your, uh, your cutoff frequency needs to go down and your envelope needs to go up. So there's is much longer. Something's not quite right. This isn't right either. Really listening for that endpoint for the cutoff frequency. Let's try this. So close. Are we one off? Yeah, we're one off. So, cat still wins. Cat still wins. What was the? What would we? What would we just say? If it's one off, cat still wins. Okay, super quick. Okay, and it also goes down really far. So let's turn our cutoff all the way down, uh, almost all the way down, and turn our envelope much farther up. but you can hear that it holds somewhere around uh, higher than the cutoff than we had it. So let's turn our cutoff frequency up a bit. I can still hear a few more harmonics there, so let's turn our cutoff frequency up some more. I think that's it. We're gonna submit to Cat. Yeah, okay. Whew. So the, the take home here is that we want to listen to where the harmonics of the waveform start and end. And that's like the first thing that you want to do when you're trying to get through some something like this uh, or when you're like designing a sound because the mellowness or the, uh, the, what do you call it? Like the brightness or mellowness of where a wave starts and ends via the filter is a big part of shaping your sound. So that's why this is so important to, uh, to listen to. Okay. So I can hear what sounds like a really quick release. Our cutoff frequency is very far down and we're not going very bright with our envelope amount. So let's try this. Whoa, too much. Okay, so overall the cutoff frequency is a bit higher than theirs because I can hear a bit more brightness. Here we go. Yeah. yeah! Our formula is working. Pepperoni, formuloni, give a cat some spumoni. Okay, this is going pretty well. I think we have a formuloni for the next section. This is gonna combine- Filter, envelope, attack, and release. This is gonna combine all the stuff that we have already uh, uh, learned into one epic, epic challenge. Start. Okay. So what can I hear? 
Sounds like the cutoff frequency is down a bit. So let's turn it down so we can turn our envelope up. That's not right. We need to turn the cutoff frequency down a bit. And the, re the release is really quick. I think we need to turn our cutoff frequency down a bit. I think that's it. There's no attack on this sound. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. The formuloni, friends. Give a cat a pepperoni as a treat. Okay, again, I don't hear any attack on this. They're really kind of being a little sneaky. Pretty long release. Oh, too long. I think this is it. Oh, no. All right, remember the rule. If we're one click away, we still get pepperoni. Damn it. <laughs> well, here's the thing between you and me. You can still give me pepperoni. Next. All right, so this one does have attack and release, and they're both pretty long. So let's turn these up somewhere around there. Turn our cutoff frequency down because we know that we're coming uh, up and down from our brightness and go something like this. Okay, their attack is much faster, so let's go down to a thousand milliseconds. I can also hear that their cutoff frequency starts lower than ours, so let's turn down our cutoff frequency and turn our envelope up because I like the point that we reached with our envelope. I think that's pretty close. Survey says. Yeah. yeah. Cat. All right, quick attack. Longer release, but not super long. And we do reach full brightness on the filter which means we need to turn the envelope up to get full brightness. Quicker release. Cut off frequency down one. I think that's it. <gasps> you piece of shit. Still get pepperoni though, we are only one click off. Better have some stocked up. Long. Turn this down. We're starting way low, and let's turn this up just a little bit. Still too low. We're going to turn the click on for this one because it will help us time our things. So four seconds for each, or four clicks, excuse me. Submit. Oh, one click away and one click away. That means pepperoni. Is somebody taking a tally of how much pepperoni uh, I'm going to get out of this? Because someone should be. All right, we did it. What section of the synth modulates brightness over time? That's the filter envelope, baby. Which stage of the filter envelope determines how the brightness reacts to a key press? That's the attack stage, baby. Which stage of the filter envelope determines how the brightness reacts to a key release? Oh, I don't know. Could it be? Release? What control determines the sound brightness at the very beginning of the filter envelope's attack stage? That's the cutoff knob. What control determines the maximum brightness of the filter envelope? That's the envelope amount knob. What control determines the sound's brightness at the very end of the filter envelope's release stage? I believe that that's cutoff knob. Describe the attack and release of the sound's filter envelope. Quick attack and long release. Zero attack and short release. 
long attack, and short release. Yeah! That's how cat do. That's really how cat do. We're going to skip this section because it's going to be tedious, and I think we've already learned what we need to know about uh, envelopes here. So uh, in the next video, we're going to go on to something I'm very excited about, echoes. We're going to learn about delay and delay times. So see you in the next video. This has been Kat. I expect the pepperoni, and, and by the way, anybody who's watching this is expected to give me pepperoni. Not like, like one person, it's literally all of you. So I'm going to look at the view counts, I'm going to keep an eye on the view counts, and I expect that pep in my inbox. I don't even know where that is. Just throw it through the mail slot or something. Okay, bye. I'm a cat. <laughs> cat is doing stuff at the end of the video. This is where you put links to the other videos. You can click a link. If you don't stink, cats always smell perfect. Give me pepperoni. Yeah.